There's a lot going on when you're jumping, and sometimes just getting to the jump can be a challenge in itself. Warm up by getting used to straight lining, just like you would into a jump. Practice starting in a side slip and pivoting the board so it's pointing straight down the hill. Pivot around your front foot, back foot, or just jump 90 degrees. If you do a big turn to get moving, you end up spending so much time getting lined up for the jump, you have little time to concentrate on hitting it. By getting right into the straight line, you have lots of time to get balanced and prepare. Once you're straight lining, keep it going for as long as you feel comfortable, maybe even a little longer. One of the biggest mistakes people make when learning to jump is trying to slow down and stop as soon as they land, sometimes even before they land. Ideally, you want to stay straight until you've regained your balance and composure, then slow down slowly. So get comfortable going fast. Speed is a skill you need to work on to get confident with. After you've done a few straight lines, add a jump in the middle. Get going straight down the hill, then jump evenly off both feet. Just like any movement, think of jumping using slower, big movements instead of fast, jerky ones. Try to take off and land with your board flat base to stay balanced. Once you're doing successful straight lines with a jump in the middle, pick a track in the snow or a snowball to jump over so you can practice setting up and jumping at a designated point, just like you would for a real jump in the park. This tutorial was filmed at Whistler Blackholm. You're watching Duncan Mainland and Nev Lapwood from Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your riding.